Hi and welcome to the third tutorial of the INC training camp. This is um, a geometry tutorial. It is a little bit different from the first two. It is focused on a particular topic um, that most likely you haven't heard uh, about before. So I hope you like it. So th this tutorial is about barycentric coordinates. So what are barycentric coordinates? So if we have uh, three points in a plane or well, rather a triangle. So like first point, second point, and third point. So A, B, and C. And then we have some 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 other point, I don't know, um, P. Then we can compute barycentric coordinates of the point P with respect to A, B, and C. And it's not going to be a pair of real numbers, but it is going to be a triple of real numbers, such that uh, these two identities hold. Okay, uh, so basically, uh, the, the, there is one more um, point here, is the origin, O, and um, here we're dealing with vectors from O to A, from O to P, from O to B, and from O to, to C. Well, um, the, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to prove that the, this is well defined in the sense that uh, it does not depend on the choice of the origin. And, uh, so such a triple of real numbers. Um, yeah, by, by the way, at the moment, it's, it's not even clear that this is, um, you know, that such a triple is unique for every point P. And if um, every point P has a triple of barycentric coordinates assigned to it, but we are going to do it later. So now let me show that this definition does not depend on the choice of the origin. So how can we see that? Well, um, so what if we um, move the origin to some other point? So if instead of our initial origin O, we kind of move it to some, some other point O prime. What, what's going to happen? Well, um, let, let's try to, to see uh, if we can compute barycentric coordinates with respect to the, this new point. So um, so what is going to be O prime P? O prime P as a vector is the, the sum of the vectors O prime O plus O P, right? Th this is basically the definition of vector addition. Okay, so then um, we have O prime O. So we can just int introduce x plus y plus z here because x plus y plus z is 1, O prime O. Plus and OP. For OP, we have our expression um, from our barycentric coordinates. So this, this is going to be x, O, A plus y, O, B plus Z O C. Well, but then uh, notice that O prime O prime O plus say uh, O C, this is O prime C. And, and so the, the, the same for A and the, the same for B. So which means that this expression is nothing else but uh, just X O prime sorry, O prime A plus Y O prime B plus Z O prime C, which is what was required. So it means that if we change the origin, uh, then the, the triple X, Y, Z does not change. And of course we can change the origin back from O prime to O, so it works both ways, right? So it means that any, uh, triple of barycentric coordinates um, associated with the point P with respect to an origin O is, is going to be the same as, um, is going to work for a different choice of origin too. Okay, um, now very often we can solve geometry problems uh, by introducing coordinate methods. So. Uh, and sometimes it is convenient to choose barycentric coordinates. 
So whenever we are working with triangles, areas, and stuff like that, then it may be uh, convenient to choose barycentric coordinates. And one more remark is that um, sometimes it is convenient instead of just writing, uh, instead of requiring x plus uh, y plus z to be one, uh, we can write x uh, colon y colon colon z. So meaning that uh, this notation x colon y colon uh, z is uh, defined up to um, uh, up to a constant multiple. 